Hello, subscribers. Hello. Hi. How you doing? Glad to see everyone's here. You doing good in the background? Yeah? Popcorn's that way. Pee break? Uh, bathroom's that way. Alright. Yeah, um... Yeah, the channel just hit 50 subscribers. Holy shit. Wow, I never thought I'd have this many people actually interested in me, and I'm glad for that number. It's... I know to some of you it's probably not that big of a number, but to me it's a big deal because I'm actually trying to do this as a job full time. Which I know sounds really odd, I'm not posting that many videos and there's a reason to that. Just know that the cover is going to be the next video to get uploaded. Um, currently dealing with recording issues because of certain finance issues I am not able to get the video mixed because there's a video aspect to this I wanted to do something special but I really don't know what to do right now so I never figured I'd hit this milestone let alone have people actually enjoy my content and I'm glad for that I'm glad I am entertaining for someone if for nothing more than just to laugh at. I mean, views are views at this point. That's all that really matters. Uh, as of right now, there is some issues on the channel that I need to address with in regards to Time Warner. Yeah. Some of you might be subscribed for my Steven Universe content, my thoughts and opinions, so on and so forth. And Time Warner doesn't seem to like any YouTuber posting like live reactions. Kind of annoying. Yeah, kind of annoying. So yeah, there's that. Um, I really don't know what to do for celebration of sorts. I want to take you guys on a grand tour of Vice City. I really do. It's been my biggest project right now, and it as with the help of my close friend Jacob Casius, who is an absolutely phenomenal builder, can't sing his praises enough because he really is that talented of a builder. Uh, oh, I know. Uh, suggestions if you're native to South Florida, suggestions on what you would like to see in Vice City. There's a lot of I guess you would call the urban atmosphere going on. If you're going down one of the main drags in the city, you definitely feel like you're way up on 102nd Street trying to get all the way back to Bird or something like that. Anyone who knows Miami knows exactly what I'm talking about, and anyone who doesn't is just completely lost. It's got the proper big city vibe. Has someone who is come from a previous city built that felt all right but didn't feel or didn't have the feel of like an actual big city one of the reasons I was removed from the Greenfield team is because of personal reasons at the time but looking back Greenfield compared to where I stand with Vice feels too forced and I, I I blame that mostly on the project manager slash leader Oscar. Great, great musician. Great, great fucking mix engineer. Doesn't really have the focus necessary to keep on topic. One problem I had with Greenfield was uh, Oscar would say, well, it's going to be this area if it were in this area. Like, uh... I was, when it was originally being planned, going to be lead development on Baron's Bar, right? Which was, according to Oscar, and this is his words, almost word for word, it was going to be Detroit if it happened in L.A. Now, I know Los Angeles has manufacturing. I know that for a fact. But he was straight going for The Last of Us, Detroit in LA which pretty sure that doesn't happen any place in LA that remotely 
resembles abandoned manufacturing it has either been torn down or repurposed like it's not abandoned for long and one of the reasons being is because Los Angeles is one of the big jumping off points for North America in fact if I'm not mistaken it's one of the if not the most busy ports in the world long Long Beach Island is insanely huge. Not even Rockstar with GTA 5 could really capture the scope of how big uh, Los Angeles, Port of Los Angeles really is. It's literally that big. Enough griping about Greenfield, though. Like, getting back to Vice City, there are certain aspects of Vice City that I feel like I've accomplished, but there are certain things that... I'm having trouble doing like I've got a rough ghetto area planned out but I need ideas I need inspiration and if you are a fan of the channel who've been following me along not just for my Steven Universe content but for my Minecraft content which I know I post infrequently and I really need to post more often <laughs> now is your chance to say hey you should do this in this area bear in mind there is like a plan for everything but there are certain things that are kind of like open-ended like if I just pop open the die map right now I'm trying not to make this too lengthy all oh, right Crap. Uh, never mind that last statement <laughs> yeah this is what doing things live and not rehearsed looks like you make mistakes a lot uh, if anyone suggests stuff like a college, there's already one planned. In fact, we still got to do at least two other schools, a middle school and a high school. And potentially, the middle school is going to be like a mixed batch, so it's a middle and high or middle and elementary school stuffed into one. Which, if you're a Grover like I am, someone who's native to Florida, shocker, I know. Because everyone is from everywhere else. Uh, back when I was going to Coconut Grove Elementary, it went all the way up to the 8th grade, which in most states is the end of middle school when I was going. Now, whether or not it's like that anymore, I don't know. But that's the way it was when I was going. So, at least two schools are going to get built after this. Um, we got a couple of fire stations. We got a police department planned. I'm thinking we're going to do two more at least. Um, like I said, there's a ghetto area. There's an entire train yard because you really cannot do South Florida justice without doing a tribute to Flagler. Because let's be honest, Flagler is a really important part as to why Florida is even on the map today. If you disagree... Please get out. Uh, we got an international sized airport. That's going to be done up. And that's mostly done already. Uh, there's going to be a couple of like crappy apartment buildings in the ghetto area. We got the high voltage lines in already. Just got to tweak them a bit. We're planning on a Flamingo Plaza based place back when Flamingo Plaza was still a thing and not just a bunch of new outlet mall things. If you are from Hialeah, which some of you might be, I don't know, or if you've ever been to Flamingo Plaza in Hialeah, which I recommend you only doing do so during the day. Um, yeah, has the famous comedian once Fluffy, aka Gabriel Iglesias, once so famously said it's the east coast version of east la cannot summarize it better myself really couldn't and i know that's a terrible thing to say and i'm sure there are good people out there i'm sure of that but there's a reputation for a reason that out of the way uh, most of the south of the island is going to be highly uh based coral gables like shitty coral gables not like high-end coral gables uh we got a kfc we're planning on a burger king we got a walmart for crying out loud we got a brand smart uh but yeah like if there's 
Yeah, there is a Waffle House in case anyone's wondering. We've got a whole train rail side of things. We got a uh, major port. We have uh, Miami Beach, which admittedly could use some, a little bit of sprucing up. We have public storage, uh, shell lumbers there. Old Johnny Rockets from across from Cocoa Walk is there. Uh, what else? We got like a Starfish Island type of deal planned. There's a whole lot planned that has yet to get built, but once you see it, you'll love it. But there's still a whole lot that has yet to be built, like the power station. We're still uh, debating back and forth whether it should be nuclear or coal. It's up in the air at this point, which is really annoying. I don't like that. A uh, bunch, a bunch, and bunch of suburbia is already built. A uh, bunch of the high rises already in. Downtown's been Jacob's project. If there's anything that I feel that you felt like I've missed, maybe some more car lots, because that is a big thing, if I remember right. Uh, let me know. In the meantime, uh, I guess I'll call this a video. Uh, thanks again, everyone who subscribed, and I hope to see you at 100. Until then, peace.